before we freak out too much, we need to know exactly what is a hailstorm. And to answer that question, it's just like a rainstorm, but instead of rain coming to the ground, we have little ice chunks in which we call hail. So now that we have the definition of a hailstorm, that still leaves us the question, what ecosystems in our planet do hailstorms affect? And that's why we have Mark to answer this question. Thank you, McGuire. Most hailstorms occur in the southern and central plains like Texas, Oklahoma, Colorado, and Kansas. So now that we've answered that question, we need to answer the question of what organisms are being damaged in these locations off the trail. Thank you, Mark. As you brought up, the central plains are at a very big risk when hail comes into play. But what kind of organisms in the central plains are being most affected by hail? Just to name a few, the organisms that are harmed are fish in small ponds, crops, and also humans that are exposed to being outside are at the risk to be harmed or even killed. So now that we answered the question of what's at risk due to hailstorms, we still haven't discussed how humans can, be, can, pre can prevent damage due to hailstorms. To use that. Thank you, Trevor. Although you can't really prevent hailstorms, there are always ways to be safe. When a hailstorm occurs, you should take refuge in your house or somewhere with a solid structure. Now don't go running around outside because it could cost you your life. 92 people die a year because of hailstorms, and you could be one of them. Remember, keep safe from hailstorms. Oh, hell no! That's not gonna work. Let's try something like this. Hailstorms suck, but you don't. Hailstorms suck, but you don't. So always stay safe from hailstorms.